guys, Berry Babe here. I'm kind of crooked, but I'm afraid to touch it because there we go. It's just, I bought a cheap selfie stick and took the top piece off and put it on my old tripod, but it isn't tight and I can't turn it the way it falls because I've got the leg, the back leg shorter so that it doesn't get me like from my navel up and I have to sit farther back so this is a little better. I was up point two this morning which is not too bad considering what I ate yesterday. So I was 162.6. I'm still in the 162s. I've been very very prudent today. I um, had a couple bites excuse me of a quest bar so I could take my vitamins this morning and then uh, at lunchtime I had one serving of unjury in water and I just had about three quarters of a cup of yogurt with strawberries and then uh, later in the evening I'll have another unjury. I'm not going to do exclusively Gene Pro right now. I just, I think it's work, it works but I'm just kind of superstitious and this is such a bugger of a between here and getting below 160, it's just going to be grit your teeth time. So I did put um, mosquito. Sorry, I did put Gene Pro in this next batch of yogurt that I made. So I'll see. I thought, well, that would give it another kick, and then I'd have three full proteins um, for the day because I like to get in at least 90. I've had. RNY on top and the DS on the bottom, so I like to get in at least 90. Then anything else I eat is kind of incidental protein. I had some comments about people who know other clueless people. I talked yesterday about my girlfriend going on and on about her daughter, people not recognizing her daughter's needs, and yet she brought me very nice looking, very high calorie cupcakes when I've been on my plan for a while and she's aware I'm on my plan because I always say I will, I'm on my plan. I guess if I when I ordered onion rings that might signal I'm not on the plan but she didn't know I was going to order onion rings before she brought them and I'm still on plan. Anyway, my point was reminded me of uh, years ago when my kids were tiny and I was a vocational rehabilitation counselor for the state of Michigan. I transferred from one office to the other. And the custom in this new office was that on your birthday, you got a cake. And the person whose birthday came before you, who just had a birthday, made your cake. So people kept saying, what kind of cake do you want? And I'd say, uh, I don't eat cake because I went four years without lightened sugar. Although I didn't lose any weight because I was still eating breads and chips and things that convert to sugar, but I wasn't eating sugar sugar, which um, it wasn't long after that, a couple of years that I was diagnosed with diabetes. So all that it probably kept me from kicking over into full-blown diabetes sooner. Although by the time it was actually discovered, my number was 753. The doctor kept saying, are you, do you, are, do you get thirsty? No. Do you pee a lot? No. You know, all classic signs. Um, but yet when I came in with my cup like this, huge, full of ice water and drinking and drinking and had to excuse myself to pee, she sent me, took my blood, sent me home and said, call in next day. So when I called in, they said, yeah, you should go to emergency and tell them your number is 753. And right then I didn't know anything about it, but that's like coma coma level. They gave me intravenous IV. Uh, the nurse said I've never seen them do intravenous IV before in the emergency room. So anyway, I said uh, back to the office, uh, that was my little squirrel moment, that I didn't want a cake. I didn't, I don't eat cake. I don't eat cake. I don't eat cake. I didn't say I don't want a cake. I just said I don't eat cake. Uh, I said bagels will be nice. I got a cake. I didn't eat the cake. I let them sing to me, I blow the candle, and then they ate cake. Now when I was eating sugar, I shared in the cake, and I always made cake for the next person, but just that I must have said I don't eat cake 
15 times because everybody wanted to know what kind of cake I wanted. They wanted to please me with the kind of cake I wanted, only I didn't give up because I wasn't eating any cake. So I can understand why it's hard for my family and close friends because, you know, my sister says, are you coming up? Okay, I'll cook. Are you on or are you off? Because I go on and I go off all my life. I lose it and then I gain it and then I lose it and then I gain it. Never maintain. So this time I'm really hoping I'm, you guys that are in P3 and are doing it, it's like, I'm watching, I'm watching. Okay, I can do this. And I bought bacon today. I'm sorry, I can't keep from talking about food. The store was having a buy five, get a dollar off each one, and they had some fixed lights. And so I, it's in the freezer. But it's like bacon. P3. I live on bacon, P3. Because of the malabsorption, um, I can do a lot of bacon. You hear the thunder? It's, it's two hours past when it was supposed to start thundering, so I thought I'd better get out here. We are, I'll be up late tonight packing the trailer. My husband wants to leave by 9 in the morning. We are going from, this is Michigan, the middle. We live about here, and I don't know, we're going Petoskey, up here somewhere. His sister-in-law is in a play, and so we're going to a dinner theater Saturday night. And they're having prime rib, and I don't do raw meat. Prime rib is always red, so I've requested an end piece. And so she and her sister and the niece go up and sew costumes for the young Americans at Boyne Highlands. And for that, they get to see every show. So we're going to surprise my sister-in-law. We'll see them at dinner when we see the young American show. And then the next day, we'll go to see her in The Music Man. Forty years ago, when Young Americans toured, she was with them for a year and she played Yulele McKechnie Shin in The Music Man, and so she's going to re redo that role now, along with two other um, young Americans that aren't so young anymore. And I laugh because she was young, 20-ish, when she was in it originally, and she's not so young anymore. She's four years younger than me, so do the math. I said, now she's old enough, they won't have to put any aging makeup on her because she's the right age for that part. But I won't say that to her. I'll let my brother, my husband, her brother, say that. So, I was just looking, I was refilling my, you know, I put that strawberry squirt in my little medicine dropper to put in my yogurt so I don't use so many strawberries. And I refilled it for my trip and I've got one red thumb. So I think there is Wi-Fi at the campground. We are going to be pretty busy. And so how much I'll vlog, I don't know. I don't think it's a KOA. I don't think the scenery is gonna be as nice as my last camping trip. I'm not dreading this so much. You know, somebody pointed out you did it once, you can do it again. So I'm really packing not much. I'm going to do my protein. I will do my yogurt. Um, I may take some bars, but I'm not sure. You know, I've been using the One Bars and the Quest Bars, but lately it's been the One Bars, and I'm not sure. You know, they have one net carb, but I'm not sure what those other carbs are doing in the meantime. So I, I will use those if I get caught. But other than that, uh, I don't know how many nights we're going to be gone. Right now it's only two nights because it's $75 a night. It's a very popular tourist area. So I'm watching vlogs and would love to see some of you lurkers post some vlogs. And I guess that's all for now. Bye-bye.